Um, welcome back to Lists. Um, as uh, you'll probably see before this, um, this is the Luna Light uh, Ichizu Tournament deck. Um, I'm going to do one or two test hands, and depending how it goes, I'll show you like intricate lines that you can do and how the cards interact. As I stated beforehand, um, you're going to have a lot of different weird lines and strategies involving this because not every hand will be the same. That being said, um, let's begin. Already power shuffled the deck. I'm going to do one cut and we're going to draw our first five cards. Our cards being Perfume, Surapali, Tenki, Soyuk, and Diviner. Okay, so things to bring over. Um, the fact that you open both Perfume and Tenki is already really good because this already is a combo in itself. Um, at least a way to start your engine, so to speak. Um, you can also summon Diviner, which makes it so you can dump an Ichizu card. And, um, and also, that's a way to start your strategy. Um, let's do the Ichizu line first. You summon Diviner. And with Diviner, we're looking for Akido or Tilbeck. Let's use Agido, since so the first one we found. So Agido is milled. We're shuffling the deck. Like there's a lot of variance that's going to go on here. For like for all we know, we might not build anything and our hand might end and our place will end up in here. But let's find out. Okay, we mailed Trivikarma and we mailed Soliak. Where that is really good. That is really good because it means that Soliak will trigger, which will grab you and achieve uh, a tournament name. Um, looking at our hand and looking how we can play this out and scope lines through, um, I'd say the most ideal one to grab at this instance would be. Tirlaman's Sharon. Um, the number one card I would have asked uh, search for if it was not Sharon would have been uh, Kashtira, the Kashtira one. The reason we're adding uh, Sharon is because we have Trivic Karma and we have Fire Formation Tanky, which means there are going to be more lines to extend our plays even further. I'll show you how. Um, uh, before we continue, we're going to do Trivial Karma's effect, and we're going to add. We we have a myriad of options. You can add Tillman Scream, or you can add Primeval Planet. I think Primeval Planet is the most ideal one uh, to search for. Like. Um, the number one reason for that is because we have an Ichizu Shuffler already in our graveyard. So this m turns this into an interruption if we ever cycle through our fusions or tournament names. Um, the other reason for this is because it gives us another monster to work with. Um, that being said, Perlina is being added. And we're going back with our 7 card hand. Now, we're going to activate Fire Formation Tanky. Fire Formation Tanky, in this instance, is going to grab us specifically Luna Light Yellow Martin. You'll see in a second why it's Yellow Martin specifically. Um, shuffling our deck, cutting it. 
we'll put our deck here and we will proceed um, with Sharon and Martin both in hand we're going to activate Sharon's effect if it resolves you're going to dump Martin to the graveyard she will summon and you mill three okay so this new chain is going to the following will happen you mill to Miss Kashtira, which will mill you two more cards. However, you sent Yellow Martin with Sharon's effect, which means Yellow Martin is going to grab you a Luna Light Spell or Trap. The only viable target that we have is Serenade Dance. Um, please take note that Luna Light Perfume does not actually say Luna Light Perfume. It says Luna Light Perfume, which sadly just means it's not a searchable Luna Light -like card. Um, it's just one of those things that Konami made for Konami reasons. Um, pretty much just trying to make the deck fair, I guess. Um, that being said, this is our hand now. Now, Tyrannomus Kashtira will resolve. We mailed Perfume. Um, that's really, really good because already having perfume in graveyard means that we don't have to use the perfume in our hand uh, to search other Luna names. What you can do now is you can activate perfume to dump Serenade Dance. And with perfume, you are going to add Luna Light Tiger. Um, the reason you're adding Tiger specifically is because this is a Luna, uh, Luna Light name you want in rotation. Um, I forgot. This is actually in the deck. This is was only part of the explanation. Uh, forgive that misconception. Um, so here's our hand now. One thing that we're going to do now is we're going to activate Primeval Planet and with Primeval Planet we'll search for another tier element name. The name we're going to search for right now is going to be most likely Rhino Heart. So now what we're going to do is we still have a lot of plays, we still have a lot of lines, we still have a lot of pro pro uh, possible end boards. Take note, King of the Swamp was milled, so uh, that will make it so we can bait, make either Roll Talos or, um, or Grapha. That being said, we're going to banish Luna Light Serenade Dance. And if it resolves, we're going to send Rhino Heart to the graveyard. And with that, we're going to summon Luna Light Kaleido Shit. In a new separate chain, Tier Elements Rhino Heart will, is going to trigger. Um, note you. you we're triggering this because we have Soliac in hand. Also take note, Soliac already used this effect, so you won't be able to search with Soliac. That being said, we dump Soliac and we bring back Rhino Heart. Uh, now Rhino Heart triggers and you send a Luna um, Tier Element name. The name that we're going to be sending specifically at this instance is going to be Tier Elements Halfness. The reason is specifically Halfness is because Sharon is already in the board. Tier Elements Kashtira was already being milled. And you want to hold uh, Tier Elements Merly for a line that involves um, Sprite Sprint. That being said, 
halfness is being sent to the graveyard and halfness is going to trigger halfness trigger is going to fuse we have a lot of different options here but we're going for simplicity's sake we're going to go with her alongside king of the swamp take note that this is our fifth summon so uh, whatever you end up summoning here is going to be play, able to play through the Bureau the Primal Being. That being said, um, I think the monster we're going to summon is going to be Terramint Roll Kalos. Okay, now we're going to do a bunch of different lines. Uh, I'm going to be showing the importance and in how integrate the Luna Light portion is going to be at this specific time. Um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab these two, uh, the Diviner and the Kaleidos, and we're going to make Cross Cheap. It's important that you summon it at this specific zone because it is pointing to roll callos. This is going to come up very very soon. That being said, we're going to activate Tuna Light Tiger. We're going to use Tiger's effect. And with it, you're going to bring back um um Kaleido ship. We are going to do Kaleidos Chicks effect and you're going to dump two elements um Luna Light Black Sheep. What does that tell you? That tells you that we're eventually going to go on a line that involves sprint. That being said, you're going to trigger yellow martin and you're going to bounce back to your hand uh, luna light tiger with these two you're going to overlay and what you'll end up doing is you'll end up summoning Bojin Tikayo Sushi uh, at this moment in time that we're doing this, we only need, uh, we have two tournament triggers for fusion summoning still. Um, if we end up uh, milling merely, that means we don't have to no longer go to uh, sprint, and their only summon left will be from Shiren. Um There are other cards that we can mill, like Black Wings and Feroz the Elite. Um, as well as other copies of King of the Swamp or other Ichizu names. That being said, this will trigger. We're going to mill 5. I also did not mention Emerald Bird, which is also important. On this mill, Emerald Bird can trigger, and Emerald Bird is allowed to summon from the graveyard a Luna Light monster. We're going to summon Black Sheep. All right. So what we're going to do now is the following. You're going to grab Sharon and Rhino Heart, and you're going to overlay these both into Time Thief Redoer. We're going to grab. Our Kagusuchi, our Cross Sheep. Hmm. I just noticed one important detail. We have not triggered Cross Sheep's effect to reborn a monster yet. So, before that is done, what we're going to do is we're going to grab Kagusuchi and Black Sheep. And these two are going to make sprite sprint um if you notice this specific scenario you have cross chip sprint 
and row columns. What this does, what this trifecta does, is that you can be since these two are um, optional triggers, you can trigger both sprint and cross ship in different sequences. Meaning, whatever you dump with sprite sprint, you can reborn it with cross ship. Um, that is very cool for examples like uh, copies of Diviner of the Herald, just to name one. That being said, we're going to do cross cheap one, sprint two. Sprint is going to send us two elements merely to the graveyard, and cross cheap is going to summon from the graveyard most likely a level 4 or really any monster at this point um, we already triggered diviner this turn so it really doesn't matter what we end up bringing here Um, unless you want to specifically make something like a rank 4 in this in on that case we can summon a level 4 this summon a Gito. Um now Tyrannus Merly will trigger and you can fuse her with another King of the Swamp that we milled Or you can fuse her with something else. I'm going to do something else. So I'm going to fuse Merly alongside Danger Nessie. So these two go to the bottom of the grave, at the bottom of the deck. We're just going to do one more light shuffle just in case. These are the two names bottom. And we're summoning Garura. We're going to grab Garura, Agido, and Cross Sheep. And we will make Appaloosa, Bow of the Goddess. Garura will trigger, which means you can draw one card. What we're gonna end up doing here is we're gonna Lunar Perfume, bring back Kaleido, activate Tiger, again in the scale. Uh, Tiger is not a hard once per turn, it's once per turn per scale. That's why the card is limited. Um, and as if you're noticing a pattern, we're kind of abusing its effect. So you bring back Emerald Bird. And then these two will overlay into another rank 4. Our rank 4 of choice will be Abyss Dweller. So let's summarize. Um, you have three negations out of Appaloosa. You have her negation from Kikalos. You have a bounce from Sprite Sprint utilizing either Redoer or Dweller. Um, Redoer can tag itself out using Sharon as um, the material, meaning that in your opponent's turn you can fusion summon using Tyrannus Sharon as a monster. Um, which is also really cool because if you remember we still have King of the Swamp. Adding to all of that, you have the Floodgate Effect from Dweller as well. And one more detail to mention is during this entire process, we milled Modora, the Sword of Oracle. So if on worst case scenario, um, you can use Modora as another interruption. Um, 
this will be all uh, this will, this is gonna be it we can keep doing different hands with different scenarios but this is I think this is a really proper showcase of how both the Luna Light strategy and the Telemet strategy both bond together and they make uh, this very very possible I hope you enjoyed this portion uh, feel free to share um, grab more insight and yeah like two elements not dead guys uh, like there are going to be a lot of variances and a lot of interruptions that will not make all these boards like happen but if boards like these do happen it like it kind of just shows you how powerful two elements is still despite all the hits um, that'll be all uh, until next time